This is a presentation of the Prevo Technical Institute. How to do a parked regeneration for vehicle equipped with US 10 engines and newer. Disclaimer, the coach will not allow parked regeneration to be performed with an active engine or emissions fault code. Before going through the procedure, here are the golden rules before performing a parked regeneration. Never do a regeneration inside a building. Never do a park regeneration under or close to a tree. Never do a park regeneration under or close to any structure or building. Park in an open area, like a parking lot. Now that the vehicle is well positioned, let's go through the step-by-step -step instructions to perform the regeneration. For the first step, we will start by turning the HVAC off by pressing the on-off button. We stop the HVAC to reduce the load on the engine during the regeneration. We will then turn the fast idle off. For the next step, we're going to go under the DID using the two button located on the left side of the steering wheel. We first going to press escape. Then we're going to scroll down to the after treatment menu. I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to press on request park regen in order to start the process. In case you get a message for park regen condition not met, you will press escape and go to the ATS status menu and we'll press enter. At this point, we're going to look for any item that may have a check next to it. Scroll down to the second page where I see neutral with a check next to it meaning the transmission is not in neutral. And I'm going to press on request park regen in order to start the process. Once the park regen is requested, the RPM will start to raise. The park regen may take 30 to 45 minutes depending on the condition of the after treatment system. Once the park regen cycle is finished, the RPM will drop back down to 600 RPM and the regen request light will turn off. The vehicle is now ready to go back on the road. For more information, please contact your regional customer support manager.